All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to change the armature magneto on a Briggs & Stratton 12 horsepower uh, lawnmower engine. If you're having any sparking problems or your uh, spark plug's not giving you uh, the spark that it should be uh, and your engine is turning over and sounds pretty good, uh, this might be the problem that you're having. Uh, but it's a pretty simple fix. Cost for the part is probably 30 to 40 bucks for the magneto part. Some people call it the ignition module. Um, but it's a pretty easy fix, so I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. All right, what we're fixing is a Murray Select lawnmower. It's got a 12 horsepower, 30 inch cut. You might have one of these, or your Briggs and Stratton engine might be on a different a lawnmower. But what we got is the power built 12 horsepower. And this is, I don't know if you can see it or not, the 28R. 707 model and the 1120-E1 um, type. So the first thing to do is uh, take all your your bolts for your um, motor uh, cover off. Take the engine cover off. I've already taken them off and this just pops right off. And you can see the flywheel and your uh, armature um, magneto or your coil or your uh, ignition module, some people call it. But that's right here. So you've got your cord, your, your wire that runs down to your spark plug. Just pop that off. And to test this, to see if you are getting um, spark at all, take your spark plug out, stick it into your, uh, your wire and touch it to a piece of metal try to crank the engine and see if there's any spark in the plug but this one's having a problem showing that so that's why I'm changing this out so basically two bolts right here you're not going to be able to use a, um, a socket set because the um, depth right here uh, so you're gonna have to use a, a monkey wrench so you're gonna take your wrench it's actually a 5 16 uh, monkey wrench but that's to get these two bolts right here so I've already, I've already kind of loosened these a little bit. You're just going to take those bolts off. Alright, and underneath you're going to have a wire that's attached that goes to the ignition. I'm going to pop that off just like so. And there you go, there's your armature uh, magneto. All right, after you get that done, you've got your new <clears throat> magneto here, and you can, um, there's two different um, connectors that come with the new one. There's either a straight uh, connection or a L connection, as you can see. And what you're gonna do is set this on here, but first thing you wanna do is rotate the flywheel until you can see the two different <clears throat> marks on here, which is your magnet to make that flywheel spin. So I want to line those up right with the uh, with the post here of where these legs are going to go. And we're going to set that on there. Take your two bolts, put those back in. So what you're going to do is you're going to finger tighten these. Get this, get this uh, armature just snug. You may have to take your wrench to snug it down so it doesn't move but we want to make sure it's away from the magnet it's not sticking on the magnet at all okay so we've got this armature snugged up it's away from the um, flywheel but it's directly in position with those magnets there and the, usually the card that comes with it for the instructions is the right thickness it's uh, 0 0.01 inches and point two five millimeters um, and you can use that <clears throat> to set in between the flywheel and the magneto or you can use if you don't have that or if you got a used uh, magneto you can use a uh, business card today sponsored by New China Super Buffet and that will do the same thing you're just gonna slide this slide this card in between the flywheel and the magneto and it's going to curve, 
curve around that flywheel. You set it there, right there. And then just take your take your wrench and loosen up that loosen up that bolt on each side, which is going to allow the uh, the two legs of the two arms to to uh, magnetize against the flywheel, but also is giving you the right space, something like thirty thousandth thousandths, which some people, if you have a tool, you may have the tool. Other people you don't, but that's why I use a business card or a tag like this. And then just tighten these, tighten these bolts back up. <clears throat> Make sure they're good and snug, so that this isn't able to move, and it gives the correct, correct uh, spinning action when you get it on there. Okay. And then from there, all you do is just rotate your flywheel like that. Take your card out. And that space should be correct when you fire it up. Okay, two things left to do. Remember that wire that you took off of the Magneto? You need to plug that in. You can either do this before or after you, you uh, connect the bolts. Um, and then take your wire. Make sure it comes back through this little, uh, this little groove right here. Connect it to your spark plug. And you can cut off excess to, to shorten the cable uh, however you want it. This might be a little long, but make sure it comes back through this groove so that you're going to be able to put your engine cover back on. And just like that, put your bolts in on every side. Put the air filter back on. I just took that off for a better view, and fire it up, and you should have spark, and it should be should solve your problem. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Subscribe up top. Leave a comment below. I'll see you later.